Good morning. Same day. I wish I had uh, learned how to edit these videos, but we harvested about 20, 25 tomatoes off of our little plants. Now this is breeding tilapia in Loxahatchee. Every once in a while we get off track here a little bit, but we were covering what we feed our tilapia. And I wanted to do an update on our experimental tank. And uh, this is how the experimental tank is going. I don't know if we can see the fish because of the water, but let's see if we can sneak in here and get a look. Um, I don't think we can see down there. But I forget when we planted these. <clears throat> But it's been about two or three weeks. I will go in there and look in the computer and we'll get a better idea. When we planted these, they were below that pipe. And we have some that are doing really good over there. And uh, the tomato plant looks healthy. Pepper plant looks healthy. The lettuce seems to all be doing good. And uh, we don't give them anything other than just the, the fish water. And this tomato plant I threw in there yesterday just to show somebody how easy it is to plant a tomato in here. And here, I'll show you. This here growing medium is pretty simple. You can pull your tomato right out of the plant, right out of the ground. And you can just stick a tomato right back in there. Doesn't hurt the plant at all. That's all you gotta do to plant a tomato there. Our little lettuce growing. The tomato's already flowering. Now, the fish, oh, the fish waste goes in here. It's settling to the bottom. A little pump pumps it up. Now these fish have been cold here. So these fish have not ate in about two or three weeks. Now, yesterday was the first time they ate. Like I said, there's about 400 fish in here. So I grab a big handful of feed, like this, and I sling it in there. And I'm only going to give them, only going to give them one handful this morning because they're not coming up to eat. Maybe it's a little too cold for them to eat. And, uh, but, well anyway, Yesterday, they came up and they ate. They ate about two handfuls. And if they would come up and eat that feed, I would give them more. But it don't bother me if they don't eat. They got plenty of food in the water that goes over their gills. Now, let's take a look at our plants and see how they're doing. Look at there. He's growing nice and healthy. Yeah. And let's see if we're getting into how our tomato plant is doing. Oh my goodness, look at that. The root system is starting to do very well on there. The tomato plant is doing really good. Wow. As you can see, this is not the system we're going to use. That tomato plant's already getting too big. I'll have to fix that later in a few minutes when I get two hands. i got to drop that root back in the bucket. It's too big to handle with this one-handed filming. All right. Uh, I would say that the nutrient solution is sufficient to grow these plants. And um, so when we do, finally do get the greenhouse going, we will use a flood and drain system. And I'll show you what a flood and drain system is. If not, I'm sure you've seen it on YouTube. There are a bunch of them out there. The flood and drain system with these bio balls is what we'll use for our grow medium. And that's our update on the plants. Have a good morning from Loxahatchee. Breeding fish, breeding tilapia in Loxahatchee.